Ripping CDs from the command line is a simple task, but it does involve a few steps, so let's get started. The most common command line utility used for ripping CDs is a program called CD Paranoia. If you're using a modern distribution like Ubuntu or Fedora that specifically target home users, then CD Paranoia will probably be installed for you already. You can find out if you have CD Paranoia installed by going to the command line and typing which CD Paranoia. If that command returns a path such as slash user slash bin slash CD Paranoia, as you can see here on my screen, then it's already installed and you're all set. If it's not installed, you'll need to go to your package manager and install it. Explaining how to install programs is beyond the scope of this little video clip. So if you don't have CD Paranoia installed and you want to follow along with this video, then you should pause the video now and install CD Paranoia. Okay, at this point I assume you have CD Paranoia installed. We will start by creating a temporary directory within our home directory. This directory is where we will store the songs while we're working on them. Everything in its own directory is always a good idea. You know, it just keeps everything sorted. So I'll start by typing CD and hitting enter. What that does is it ensures that I'm in my home directory. Because if I don't give a, an argument when I type CD, it automatically takes me back to the home directory. Knowing that I'm in my home directory, I type MKDIR space new CD. Just keep it simple. And then I hit enter. Now I want to go into that directory. So I type CD new CD and hit enter. Now you can see the command prompt there is changed to a slash new CD so I know I'm there. But just to be absolutely certain I can type PWD and hit enter. PWD stands for print working directory and it's just a quick little command that you can type to find out exactly where you're at on the file system, you know, where, where at in the hierarchy you are. And I know now that I'm where I want to be, so everything's all set. Now, to rip the CD, I type CD Paranoia, and then dash D, which, which tells CD Paranoia that the next, the next switch, or the next argument that I provide is going to be the argument for the CD-ROM drive itself. Now, the CD is in my slash dev HDD device, which could be different for you. It might be slash dev HDC, or slash dev HDE, or slash dev HDB, or you might even have some simple symbolic link already set up for you, such as slash dev CD-ROM. You know, that uh, you'll have to determine exactly which device your CD is in, you know, before you rip it. Now I want to rip the entire CD, so the next switch I'll provide is dash capital B. And that stands for batch mode or, you know, rip the entire CD. And then I'll hit enter. And you can see uh, CD Paranoia sort of, why I can hear it spinning up the CD and it's starting to do its thing. You're going to see all kinds of output here on the screen while it does this.